I'm gonna give an end of October update for the uh, proofs course. I am two months in and I've made a lot of progress. I'm actually uh, about halfway through this book. So I've paged through this book before. It's really nice. Uh, it's very approachable, perfect for self-teaching. And the last time I wasn't able to see carefully where I was and I was talking like I was over here, but the last time I was here, I was in chapters one, two, and three, which are very long and they're kind of like your basics. Uh, all proofs courses that I've seen, all the books that I've seen, and I have three by now, and I think I'm going to stop my proofs book collection at three. Uh, they always have like a fundamentals, then they go into how to prove things, uh, and then all the various methods. The thing that I really like about this book is that it really goes into detail, very easy, very approachable, about all the different types of proof. And so that, that I think I really like about this hammock book. I wish it was a longer book, a much longer book. Uh, and then it'll always all these proofs books uh, pick up, pick uh, specific subjects in math and go into the, some proofs from that subject. So this one has some calculus. There's always some functions and relations. And usually they do some cardinality. Depending on how deep the book goes, there'll be more of these. Uh, so this book is uh, simpler, uh, easier, and I really like it. I think for self-teaching is really good. And this is actually a third edition. I just realized that. And so I've gotten through uh, the first six chapters of the book. I did all the fundamentals. Um, then, and I've done most prob all, all, I think almost all odd problems and some even problems for chapters one, I think, and two. Then for three, I did all the uh, almost all the odd ones. Uh, three is a longish chapter, and then um, and then uh, I, I did. I also covered you know, but here's Pascal's triangle. Very interesting concept. Um, I also did all the problems, all the most of the odd problems with chapters four, five, and six, which are very brief. And I'm going to consider them almost like a single chapter. So part two. So I did uh, direct proof chapter four. Then, um, then con contrapositive proof chapter five. Uh, and then I did proof by contradiction, which is sub chapter six. And I'm going to stop here and do like a self test <clears throat> on all of this material. So it's a good uh, point to end for September and October of 2021 for my uh, proofs, my first proofs course. About pace, I think I am, I, I have some uh, lectures, notes that I've taken for chapter seven already, but here I am at page 80. All right, you can see there, page 80. There we go, page 80. Uh, it's hard to see through my visor, there we go. Okay, that's better. So I'm at page 80, which is the end of uh, chapter 6. Uh, and I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do uh, next week is I'm going to do a summary and a little quiz for chapter 3, which I haven't, um, for which I haven't done that. Uh, here's chapter 3. Um, and I did a bunch of problems. Messed some of them up. I went a little too fast, but... I got the gist of it. I think I did uh, the combinatoric proofs, all that good fun. Um, and then, of course, the lecture notes, you know, made up lecture notes for chapters four, five, and six. Uh, and then uh, did a bunch of problems for chapters four, five, and six. I haven't graded these. Uh, and of course, these are all proofs, and that's why I've got that little, this is the, the QED for the proof. And so that is four, five, and six. So where I'm at with two months of proofs is I'm roughly halfway through the book, which is really great. Very good progress. Uh, and then the plan is after I do that self-test is to do uh, chapters uh, seven, eight, and nine as one, which is really the more on proof part three, uh, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 
and then uh, proofs involving sets, and then do chapter 10, which is all about induction, which I've already done some in the number theory book, uh, but it's nice. It's nice to do it in multiple courses uh, because then you get multiple looks at it. Uh, and so then th th this is the next, the next thing that I'm going to do. 7, 8, 9, and then 10. And I'm not sure if I'm going to give myself a little self-test after these or if I'll just go all the way uh, and try to finish the book. The book finishes because it's got answers. It actually doesn't finish to the very end of all the pages. Um, let me see where it goes. Yeah, it goes this far. So I really only have... So yeah, maybe maybe I'll do it like that. Maybe I'll do uh, more on proof part 3, 7, 8, 9, uh, and 10. Maybe I'll do like a mini test for those. And then I'll finish it up with another mini test. And then I'll do a final for the last chapters, which are really chapters uh, 11, 12, 13. And I think this book's, yeah, and 14. So that's kind of a plan for the course, uh, for proofs, for this proofs one course. And I'm about halfway through this book and only two months out of the five months into the course.